At work or at home, email is a staple of our lives. And when it comes to your inbox, a more powerful email client gives you more options. In this video, I'm going to show you how easy it is to send an email message in GroupWise 2014. I'll also illustrate some of the interesting things you can do with an email that you've received. First, I'll demonstrate how to send a basic email, as well as some of the options that I can use when composing it. To send a basic email, I click New Mail on the toolbar, which opens a Compose view. I fill in the To List, and click to add a CC field, so I can add a recipient there as well. I add a subject line, then I fill in the message. I want to bold the project name to add some emphasis, so I use the formatting toolbar at the bottom of the message body. To add a signature to my message, I simply click Add a Signature. In your own environment, if you haven't created a signature yet, GroupWise will open the creation window so you can make one on the spot. Once you have more than one signature, you can select which one you'd like to use by clicking the arrow in the top right corner of the signature box. To attach a file to my email, I simply drag and drop the desired file into the message body. GroupWise 2014 also provides real-time and on-demand spell checking functionality. Spell check settings are located in the Options slide-out. When I'm finished creating my message, I click Send. The Compose view disappears, and the message appears in my Sent Items list. From here, I can see which recipients have opened it and whether they've replied, all at a single glance. Now, I'll show you some things that you can do in GroupWise 2014 with emails that you've received. From my Mailbox folder, I double-click an unread item to open it. In addition to replying, I can do all kinds of things to this message to help make it more useful in my own workflow. For instance, by clicking the Edit icon next to the subject, I can create a custom subject that only I can see. If I want to apply a category, such as Urgent or Follow-up, I can do so from the Options slide-out. To keep my email organized, I use the Move To button. This new feature in GroupWise 2014 allows me to easily move items from one folder to another. The Move To list automatically populates with the folders I use most. I select a folder, and this item immediately moves from the mailbox to the selected folder in the cabinet. Your workday often revolves around sending and receiving email, and GroupWise 2014 makes your email more useful, efficient, and meaningful. To learn more about Novell GroupWise, please visit novell.com/documentation. Thanks for watching.